welcome to my channel <clears throat> and let's see how to find uh, <clears throat> the determinant of uh, higher order matrices using elementary row operation so we begin with the three by three matrix and then generalize this knowledge to any other higher order square matrix now so we'll be using elementary row operations in this example, I'll be reducing my matrix to echelon form. Then you multiply the entries along the diagonal. Those entries along the diagonal will give me the product of those entries along the diagonal. After reducing that matrix to echelon form, will give me the determinant of that matrix. And let's look at this first example. Find the determinant. Find the date A, the determinant of this matrix A. So I've got this vertical line that mean determinant. That is a command to find determinant. Now, so I want to obtain none elements below this diagonal. I want the elements below this diagonal to be zero. Elements below this diagonal, I want them to be zero. So what I do, I take this leading element and use it to create those below it to be zero. So how do I get this element to be zero and this one to be zero? So to get the element in row two to be zero, I'll take the current row two, and then minus two multiplied by row one. So this will give me my new row two. And then I also want this element to be zero. <clears throat> this element is in row three. So I take row three and subtract three multiplied by row one to give my new row three. So let's just do that. Row one remains where it is. Two minus two modulo by one. And that gives me zero. Three minus two modulo by two. That gives me negative one. Five minus two modular by this three. That gives me negative one. So I'm done with the first, the second row. I go to the third row. And remember the third row, you say that we take the current third row, minus three modular by the row one to give me the new row three. <clears throat> so in other words, three minus three modular by one. That gives me zero. Seven minus three modulo by two is two. That gives me one. And then negative three, no, no six, minus three modulo by three. That gives me negative three. So I have this row. So I'm done with the first column. Done with the first column. I come to the second column. I have this leading entry here. I use this leading entry to create the entries below it to be zeros. So I want to use it to make the entries below it to be zero. I'm not touching the row, the column, the, the elements above it. I'm only touching the elements below. So you notice that for me to get row three to be zero, I will take that row three and add row two. This gives me my new row three. So first row remains where it is. Second row remains where it is, but now second row plus third row, negative one plus one gives me zero. And then negative one plus negative three gives me negative four. And my matrix in echelon form. So you can see I have these elements, I've written them to be blue, but you see that the elements along the, the diagonal that I want. So if I multiply along that diagonal, what I get is the determinant of this matrix. So that's what I did. I took negative, I took positive one times negative one times negative four, and that gives me four. So four is the determinant of this matrix. And this method will apply for any other square matrix. Let's look for another at another example. 
this time I have a four by four matrix. And the question is find this. So this means determinant. Find determinant of this matrix. That's what the question says. So I'll do what I did in the first example. I want the elements below this diagonal to be zero. The elements below that diagonal, I want them to be zero. So that's what I want. So to get these ones to be zero, I use this first element. And I want to use this element to make this one zero, this one zero, this one zero. So how do I achieve that? So to make this element here yes, zero, I would have, that element is in row two. So I'll have row two minus two molar by row one. So it, that this would be zero. Then I want this one also to be zero. This element is in row three. So I would have row three plus row one. So this gives me the new row three. And this was to give me new row two. What about this? This element is in row four. So I would have row four minus two row one. So this will give me the new row four. So let, let's just do this and see what we get. So the first row remains where it is. Now, four minus two multiplied by two, that is zero. Five minus two modular by one is one. That gives me three. And then negative three minus two multiplied by negative one. And this gives me, this would be positive two here. Subtract positive two here, added to negative three, gives me negative one. And then finally, you have this six minus two multiplied by this two. And that is what gives me this two. I'm done with the first row. I got the second row, the, sec no, the third row. I'm done with the second row. I got the third row. And remember that the third row, I want to get it by just adding the current third row plus row one. So two plus negative two is zero. 1 plus 5 is 6. Negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3. And then 2 plus 6, 2 plus 6 is 8. So I'm done with that. So I go to the last row. So then in the last row, I said that I take row 4 <clears throat> minus 2 multiplied by row 1. So 4 minus 2 multiplied by 2 is 0. 11 minus 2 multiplied by 1 is 9. <clears throat> Negative 4 minus two modular by negative two. No, no, modular by negative one. This is negative one. This will be negative two. And then eight modular minus two modular by two. This will be four. So I'm done with this, the first column. I'm done with the first column. I come to the second column and I notice that my leading element is here. That's my leading element. So I use this element to create zeros below it. So I need a zero here, and another zero here. So how do I achieve a zero in this position? So this element is in row three. So I take row three minus two multiplied by row two. That will give me the current, the new row three. And then uh, this element, I need a zero here. And this element is in row four. So I'll take row four minus three modular by row two. 
and that will give me the new rough form. That's what I want to do. So you can see that I have this and this row here and this second row, they remain the way they are. So I only want to change third and the fourth row because are the, the, these are the rows that I want zeros to be. I want zeros here in, the, in those two rows. So what do I get here? Row three, the element there is six, minus two, row two, the element of row two is three, and that gives me this zero. And then negative three, minus two multiplied by negative one, and that gives me negative one. And then eight, minus two multiplied by two, and that gives me this four. Then now I come to this other row, Remember that it's minus three row two. So nine minus three, the element in row two is three. And that will give me zero. And then I have negative two here. Minus three, the element in row two is negative one. Negative one. This will be positive three here. So the result is positive one. And then four, minus three, the element in row two is two. And this will be negative two. So I'm done with the second column. I'm done with the second column. I come to the third column and I notice that this is the leading element. So I think of using this element, how do I get a zero here? So I notice that I only needed to add row three plus row four. And this will give me the, the new row four. That give me the new row four. So that's what I did. So the first, second, and third rows remain the way they are. So let me just move this one a bit. Move it up. So as I said, the first the first, second, and third rows remain the way they are. Then I just need now to add row three to row four to get the new row four. So this negative one plus one will give me zero. And this positive four plus negative two gives me two. I've acquired what I wanted because what I wanted was that the elements under this diagonal be zero. The element is under this that will be zero. And that's what I have. So once I achieve that, then I just multiply the end, these entries along this diagonal to get the determinant of the matrix. So I said multiplying the blue elements along the leading diagonal, we obtain two times three times negative one times two, and that is negative twelve. So negative twelve is a determinant of this matrix. So, and that is how we get uh, the determinant of higher order matrices by row reduction.